It's midnight. The glowing sands off the coast of Vanuatu produce an ominous glow that resembles footage taken during the daytime. A once bustling saltwater coral reef has been devastated by global warming, leaving thousands of miles of brackish wasteland. While there still seems to be a teeming tendency towards a normal life for marine creatures, these fish have been forced to eat their own young in order to survive. In two years time this wasteland will be completely desolate, with only the serpents and leviathans in the deep passing through to gouge on the rotten corpses of a dead fish. While this entire ocean looks doomed, there are certain areas where underground springs provide a small amount of supple for the teething fry of young fish. These areas are known as Donald Trump cards. As night turns to day and day turns to night, thousands of miles away, an amazing transformation that cannot be seen takes place. Thousands and thousands of cockatoos take flight and turn into bats and flying wolverines at the sound of night. A swift nippy, if anything, holds a grand opening for John Mal's extra limb. Foot after foot, kilometer after kilometer, inch after inch, there is water. Pancreas blob, a fish found in shallow depths of Venetian brackish coastline. While actually a species of pufferfish, this pancreas blob thinks he's a rock. Pulling its tail inwards towards itself, it tries to blend in with the rocks and hopes for the best. Once he realizes he's been found out, he simply packs his bag and hoovers away with steed.
the blobfish will try the same tactics over and over again until he is eaten by a Thornton Pile Wobble Tongue. Where the damage to the area is most noticeable, creatures that arrived on meteoroids and space degree can take shelter with little fear. The moon slug, which came from the moon, just sits there. The Plutonius Pluto snake can be miles long in length, but with a brain smaller than a grain of sand. But the most exciting endorsements are taking place above ground. Millions of hermit crabs dance for pleasure and reap the benefits of a shady season. The crabs move in complete unison, grooving and moving to the sound of mild aquatic techno. submerged during high tide, but enumerated during low tide, collect nutrients from the life above the shanty seas, and delivers them to the creatures in need during high tide. This act of service works both ways. The fish are able to have a healthy feed, and the pile of rubble has its exteriors cleaned by the fish. These areas are rare and are often good fishing spots. Reel up that tackle, ye old scurvy lass. Ye got a pile of rubble to supple from. Yar, 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 fish and be fished. I'm saying it to myself, mate. Caught him right in front of me. Oh, they have, haven't they? That's why it's still here. 